This presentation is about colour theory for web and screens. Hopefully it will help you understand how colour works on screens, how it works on the web and help you decide uh, what to do about your colour palette for your project. Colour is a part of the world around us. It attracts attention, it speaks to us emotionally and it conveys messages culturally. Colour theory is a complex science. We're just going to cover it simply today. And one of the things you need to know is that colour is a property of light, not of the object itself. Objects have no colour themselves, just the ability to reflect certain rays of light from white light. White light contains all of the different colours of light. Blue objects, for instance, absorb all of the rays of that white light except blue, which bounces back, and that's what we see. Black objects absorb all light. White objects reflect all of the light. Purple objects absorb all light except red and blue. If you're designing for print, this is an important consideration because the quality and colour of environmental light will change how the colour appears on the printed page. So how do we see and understand those colours? Well, this has to do with our eyes and brains. Below the video, you'll see a link to a TED-Ed talk um, that talks about how we perceive colour, and it's a great talk. I do recommend you take the time to watch it. To summarise here, we have in the back of our eyes on the retina rods and cones. The cones transmit the colours red, green and blue to our brains. So if red light comes through, uh, the red cone fires up and sends a message red to our brain. If we see green light, green detecting cones send the message green. However, if we see yellow, there is no corresponding yellow detecting cones. We've only got red, blue and green. However, since yellow is a little bit like red and a little bit like green, it fires both the red and green cones at once. When our brain receives the signal, it knows to interpret this colour as yellow. And this is why TV screens and computer monitors use RGB to create the full spectrum of colour. We'll talk about this a bit more when we start talking about additive colour later in this presentation. So the rods and cones, rods detecting just light, cones detecting colour, um, will tell our brain what colour we're seeing. However, it's up to our brain to then interpret what that means. So colours can change according to surroundings because our brain will uh, interpret it a little bit differently. Even in the same light, the same colour can look completely different depending on what colour is placed next to it. Since we rarely see one colour completely in isolation, designers need to consider how the colours they use will react to one another. In this slide, I have a famous optical illusion. So I'm asking you now, what colour is the top part of the cube and what colour is the bottom part? Which one is darker, which one is lighter? They appear grey on the top and white on the bottom. However, they are exactly the same colour. If you don't believe me, here's a cropped section of the two cube faces and you can see they're exactly the same colour and shade. An example of subjective viewing of colour appeared in the media a few years ago, the infamous blue and black or white and gold dress. How do you see this dress? Based on what you know about colour perception, why do you think you see it that particular way when others may see it completely differently? Here's a clue. It's not due to the brightness of your monitor. Two people viewing the same device can see it completely differently. And it's not because we all perceive colour slightly differently or we'd be having these colour arguments all of the time. There are a number of theories as to why people see the dress in different colours, but the best theory I've come across is that your brain may be compensating for shadow. One person might see it as a blue and black dress in yellowish light. Others will see it as a white and gold dress in bluish shadow. 
There's been a number of these optical illusions where people see colour differently in the media since this dress hit the headlines. Um, go and have a look for a few of them and see if you can explain why people see it so uh, differently. Usually it's because of the surroundings around the object itself. Um, and then watch the next video where we will talk about additive and subtractive colour, two very different colour systems for design. Thank you.